Boko Haram is not a religious body. They are not fighting in the name of religion. But where government fails to see the danger that is ahead of it, when you play politics, when you do not have the political will to nip in the bud, what constitutes danger to, to your country, then that government do, does not deserve to be in government. I stand before you today because I empathize with the parents, the family, or the Chibo girls. We know the Chibo girls are alive. We know that government were not transparent enough when these girls were abducted. First, we were told that they were not even abducted in the first place. Then government said, we have found them. Until parents said, no, we have not found our children. And then they said, we know where they are, but we won't tell you. I mean, what kind of government will play with the lives of children who are the leaders of tomorrow? I lost my son in Dubai. My son was killed in Dubai. We know who killed my son because government, as a government responsible for my son's child, refused to investigate those who killed my son. I, as a mother, had to take it upon myself to go to Dubai. We know who killed my son. We know those who killed my son. They have names. We have submitted evidence to government. Government is supposed to push for prosecution of those who killed my son. But government failed. They are not child. So for the parents of Chibo girls, I stand with you today because I know the pains of losing a child. It's even worse to say your child is abducted or you don't know where your child or your children are. I do not know how they sleep at night because I know they don't sleep. My son has been dead for over one year now. I still cannot find sleep because I know that until justice is done to those who came into the, the light of my son, I will not have rest. Until the Chippo girls are found and brought back safely to their parents, their parents will not find us. Which is why what has happened in Nigeria in the last election is something that we should all be proud of. That when the government fails us, we have the power to change that government. My prayer and my hope is that in the handover note of this government that calls itself the transformation government, they will make bringing back the Chibokers a priority in their handover note to the government that will change our fortunes, change our destiny, and be responsible and accountable to us. For the Chibok girls and their family, we we'll stand with them in this hour, in this minute, and we we'll pray that God himself will bring back the Chibok girls safe and healthy to their parents. Thank you so much. Don't